Hey guys, this is Neil McNulty, Broken Bones, re-indigenizing the digital mind. Welcome back. How have you been keeping? I hope you're all good. I'm going to take you somewhere uh, pretty special to me. Somewhere that I haven't been in a long, long time. It's nice to hear the birds. Beautiful day in Fermanagh. I spent nine years in Croatia, mostly living in a city. In fact, I've spent most of my time in cities over the last 20 years. And I can tell you, in Croatia, especially living in Zagreb, I couldn't hear my own soul. I lost touch with my earth, my center. So coming back here has really helped me find that again. And come in touch with my indigenous soul. The soul is connected to this land, and connected to the earth. And when I'm here, I can breathe. So ground yourself if you're with me. Take a few deep breaths. Don't force it. It's about coming back to your body and your breath. The breath is one of the best ways to do them. I'm going to show you Old Castle Archdale. Yes. It's been around a long time. A lot of history here, of people's occupation. And the land is very much, very much a mixture of, of wilderness and human involvement. And you'll see in a minute the human involvement part. Um, walking up a little path here to a little grove and you can see there's a place where there's a lot of power there for me hopefully you have enough light to do the video so this is a grove of cedars, Thuya occidentalis. My Latin's not always the best, but you get the message. So these tall white cedars, very beautiful, special place, and would have been planted here by some of the first peoples on this land that have occupied it in the time of this castle. Before we go in, I want you, you can always comment on any of these videos, share what you have, share, we're all together, it's one community. I want you to tell me where your sacred grove is, or your briar bowl, or your cobble shower, or cobble um, cove, or even your grassy knoll. Where's your sacred place? It's important, it's important to me and it's important to all of us, especially in these times. And in these times, we have an opportunity, and many people are, reconnecting to sacred space, sacred place. I've spent many years of my life creating sacred space for people in the context of healing. Most of those spaces, in fairness, have been in cities. But can there be a better place than here in the nature? Come with me. So coming to these places, I'm always struck by the awe and beauty, but also that I'm in the presence of sentience all around me. Just the birds and the trees, but the trees themselves and the earth beneath the trees, all interconnected in one way. And you can see in the center, this grove, this mother, huge, 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 huge cedar. Magnificent, takes my breath away. Pardon that uh, expression, it's more like it gives me my breath back. So 
to walk with me. It's important we find these places and come to these places. Another beautiful sentient being with boughs for me to rest myself on. For all of us to find a place to rest. Come back to our indigenous soul, to our bodies, to our lives and be present there. Let's go and sit. Feels like a perfect place. Place I often sit at. Well, recently, but mostly as a child. A few people have asked me since I started this channel, what's with broken bones? Uh, many people consider that because I think of myself in a broken way or that I've been hurt and slashed and smashed. And in many ways, I have been hurt many times. But also I'm unbreakable as well. And the central part of my body, my soul, it's just untouchable, unbreakable, undefinable and omnipresent. The broken part is more to do with the opening up. So in a lot of indigenous cultures, including these, bones play a very important role in our connection to memory as a religion, connecting back stories, connecting back our lineage in the earth. And in fact, as we walk on it, the earth is piled high with bones of our ancestors, the ancestors of all creatures. The soil itself is indeed a stockpile of memory. And the trees and plants that are deeply connected to that memory there to teach us who walk on top and us homo sapiens who sometimes walk too quick think too quick so broken bones is really about opening up exposing becoming vulnerable to the memory and as science has taught us that dna deep in those bones and very much in many ways is what keeps us connected to our ancestors and to what's gone before. Their stories are very much in our bodies. Not just when we hear them, though that's nice. And it's nice to speak them into the world and listen deeply in the world for those stories. Deep listening is an art form that is coming back. It never really went away but it's making a revival because because we need it and we have to be careful in this digitized world of mobile phones and now this 5g and television and entertainment we don't lose our minds in fact our minds are carried away all too often carried away from the reality that is our, that is what's happening right now the only thing that's happening right now and for me, I, I, I can't find my soul as an empath. And I believe strongly all human beings are empathic. We're designed to be empathetic towards each other. I am a very open person, always have been since I have a child and it took me a long time to accept that. So that openness of memory, of story and speaking into the world my journey and I'm sure it's many of your journeys as well and we need to do that together in circles and right now I, I use digital means to communicate with you it's not the way I want to communicate with you but through this digital forum I can I can bring my heart we need more heart and soul we can work with the digital but not until we have grounded ourselves in the indigenous which is the soil which is the the earth the feelings that come from that, the peace and quiet stillness. And when I'm here, my mind's open, the fear goes, my heart beats, 
Can you feel your heart beating in your chest? What is it telling you to do? What needs to happen? What needs to be said? Or indeed, what needs to be felt? So it is. It's about remembering. Remembering who we are, what I am. What we are together. All sentient beings on this planet now, we need to make a choice. We surrender completely to the digital or we find its place in service to the indigenous. For out this, without this terrestrial place, which is very much where our bodies came out of, people often say we were born into this world. No, for me, we were born out of this world. And this is where we will go back to. And our bones will be buried once, hopefully. We'll be there for our descendants to remember who we are and what it means to be alive. So whatever your fears are, whatever your sense of not worthy, it's okay to feel that, but just do what you need to do anyway. And every day, whatever you do, taking that action, that step that comes from your chest and your gut and your mind's in service too, just do it. And do one thing and do your best. Your best is what you show up with. Don't be hard on yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Something that struck me recently and something I've worked a long time inside myself with and I hear a lot from people, people close to me too and people I work with, is this thing of enough, what's enough? So there's many stories and, and sentence, sentences connected to that. I hear inside myself is I don't have enough, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough choice. I don't have enough love in my life, enough joy. And I wrestle with this myself many, many times and where its source is and what it's about. You're in the Cedars Creek in the wind talking. What I found with this question and these questions is it's connected to quantification of things. Or quite often we are taught to quantify, you know. This is, I want this amount or that amount. But there's a deeper calling inside. Because to have enough love and joy and besides money, but to have enough love and joy and connectedness in, in my life, in our lives, it's very hard to quantify. And our mind tries to quantify it, what would be enough? And even if it is about money and we get that amount quite often, it's never enough. When we get some joy, it comes from, no, that's not enough, I want more. So it comes this desire for more and more. So my sense is we're not, we're not able to qualify it. And searching inside myself the answers to them and for other people it all goes down to a broken image in many cases of well actually I'm not enough so let that sink in I'm not enough do you recognize that I'm not good enough or worthy enough to have those things to have enough love or joy and I can feel my fear and my anger in my body. My anger's in my shoulders and my fear is right in my center. And it just twists inside of me when I think of all the years I spent working, living, loving from that place of I'm not good enough or worthy enough to have those things. So how can I possibly qualify or even quantify what is enough when the premise and the motivation and the image is I'm not good enough 
I'm not enough. And I feel, I, I feel that sadness driving up from inside also in my tissues. And a grief of loss of years and energies. In, in my case, I'm, I'm, I think of others. So I'm always given loads of love, loads of joy and put in lots of effort and showing people how, how much I love them in the hope that I re it, re it is returned in kind. I'm not able to qualify what that is when it comes back, or indeed, if it's enough. Because I'm coming from that broken image, again, I'll say it, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not enough for that person or for this job. Another one that strikes in there as well, and these are embedded, these images intertwine and weave to each other, into each other. The other one is perfect. I need to be perfect before I can get what I want, before I can achieve what I want, before I can go be me, you know, even making this video. I need to be perfect before I make this video. I've held this off for years and years. The impulse was so strong. But that image is so powerful, unconscious. It needs to be perfect, Neil, before you do it. People are going to laugh at you. They're not going to see the worth. Excuse me. And I see all the fear surrounding them. I feel all the fear. So acknowledging that that game's going on and that we are coming from that place. We put that aside. And it's going on in the background. And for me keeping that fear, I learned to keep that fear out in front of me. No one is there calling me, talking to me. You're not good enough. You're not perfect. Not lovable enough. But it's not true. It never has been true and it never will be true. These are just ghosts, images, fabrications, misinterpretations, adaptations to things that happen to us. But the truth is, with that fear, and with those feelings that drive up, we need another timeline away from that that line that draws energy out. Let's say it's this way. It's horizontal. Love, fear, transformations there, connections there. And th this line, when, when turbulent, rising and falling, will always return to a middle space. For me, not to invest in it took me time to learn that and really come to that. I, I realized I had to get sick of being sick. So sick of being sick that uh, I'm done with it. Are you there? Are you sick of being sick? Had you had enough of these, this image driving these beliefs? You know they're there, you've heard their voices. Many times they whisper to you in night or in a job interview maybe before the interview that you don't show up for or before you give a talk, public speaking. Regardless of what other people's response is to you, you can invest differently in a different image. And it's from the ground up, building from the ground up, starting from the first step, the next step, the only step that is showing up inside your body, whatever that is, however silly it may sound, because those images are always talking, those broken voices, just get up and do it. We have a few people walking past, but it's okay because this is the is a park and 
people come here to find themselves and to be at peace walk their dog invest in the next step you know what that is if you need support I'm here I work with people all the time like this watch my videos watch other people's videos share this with other people comment on this you don't have to be on your own in this find yourself these quiet sacred spaces come write down your fears then write down besides all of the fears write down what is it you want what's your desired reality what do you want to make happen how do you see yourself in the future and it's a different timeline one thing that I've recognized is and realized and it's a fact for me because I've done the other one I've done the build my world from that shaky foundation that crumbly foundation which is I'm not good enough and I'm not perfect enough before I do it I can't I can't do it that way anymore I'm finished with that it doesn't work never will so what's the alternative a different timeline a different approach so no matter what I do other people will view this video and think it's not really for them it, I, they don't know what I'm talking about what is he going on about it doesn't matter what other people think it really doesn't and they're in the same place as us all of us together your desired reality will be achieved once you accept yourself and recognize that you're broken in a sense that those images exist even if they they're not real and they're figments of your imagination built up over time and they've been invested in so they feel very strong that's fine leave them there don't feed them best you can don't feed them return and feed yourself what do you need next it could be a square meal it could be some breathing exercise that returns you to your center like the Wim Hof method whatever tickles your fancy whatever gets you there sitting in a cedar grove with these beautiful beings supporting me right now supporting you right now it could be a simple small step don't look too far ahead just take the step take support surround yourself by people who see you're doing that and who can listen stay away from broken conversations and negative space these people aren't ready or they need it themselves it's not your job to fix or heal either them or yourself there's nothing to be fixed at all you are completely whole you've always been whole you've taken knocks physically you've lived your body is in an organic An organic woven web <laughs> I don't know what that means but I said it so feel what's around you from your place your space there's only one you there's only one me there'll never be a comparison there'll never be a yardstick to measure and there's no need for perfection before you do it because everything you do is been only ever been done once and that's by you in the in this moment and now it's never been done before and it'll never be repeated again so free yourself from the idea that you've been judged on what you're doing because no one's ever done it you're the center of the universe but you're connected to all living and non-living things bless yourself take care be gentle always be gentle find your center and be gentle as long as you can be gentle the storm will pass the storm will pass the storm will pass and if you want it you want more videos like this and you want to be notified please subscribe if you think someone else can benefit from hearing these words and be part of this journey share it and if you've anything to say comment all you want but comment on the content I know you love me those who love me those who know me I know you love me and I love you too and I love all of you beings out there with the biggest heart I am a human being you're a human being and you're perfect as you are and until we meet again may the rose rise to meet you may the Sun always be on your at your back 
may the rain fall softly on your fields and until we meet again may God or the greatest power in the universe hold you in the palm of their hand as they do as you are held till we see each other again for now it's Neil with broken bones over and out and remember keep re-indigenizing that digital mind you need to I need to love and light and blessings